takeoffs and landings. He said, Hell, Wiley, I figured anybody who could get in as much trouble as you did and get out without killing himself could fly. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes. Uh, and that began a, what, 19 year career fly? Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. Until 64, I, right? 40, 47. Uh, is when I got my pilot's wings no. and I retired in 64. 17 years. 17 years. Yep. Bob, thank you for your service and thanks for your story. Well, thank you guys for for all you're doing, not for me particularly, but for veterans in general and uh, for the history of our country and so forth. Uh, I told Don, I think I, or Dave, I think I told one thing I told you, I have written a book. You mean it's done? Uh, oh, did you? Okay. And uh, it's uh, the autobiography of a Depression era kid, and it covers a third of the history of the United States. Now, when you stop and think about, when I stop and think about, having lived a third of the history of our country, that's just mind-boggling. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, but uh, life has been very good to me. I had a great wife. I have four great kids, never caused, never caused me a great deal of trouble, and five, <laughs> five grandkids, and two little great grandsons who are fourth generation of native-born Colorado Wiley males, and uh, you can't hardly beat that. After I retired, I had a, uh, I was reading a, a, a retired Air Force magazine. And there's a man in there who was collecting World War II memorabilia. And I thought, oh, okay, that's fine. I had a pair of alert boots, and I had uh, a flight uh, suit, and I had a number of other little things, and I contacted him. And I told him what I had, and he said, yes, I would be interested in that. He said, do you have any other things, any articles of clothing? I said, well, I have an A2 jacket, but it's not for sale. He said, now, is that one of those leather jackets? I said, yes, that is, but it's not for sale. And he said, well, tell me about it. Is it in good condition? I said, hell, it's 40 years old. I said, I replaced the waistband and the wristbands, but it's 40 years old. And he says, I understand. He said, well, does it have any patches or anything on it? I said, yes, it does, and it has a picture on the back, but it's not for sale. And he said, I tell you what, he said, uh, you may want to replace it. I said, no, wait, I'm not going to replace it, it's not for sale. He said, you may want to replace it, I'm a professional photographer, I will take pictures of it and send it to you so that you can have it, uh, have all of the things done exactly as it is. And I said, but it's not for sale. He says, I'll give you $1,600 for it. And I said, well, it might be for sale. <laughs> so he said, so that you know this is not a scam, he said, I will send you the check. And once it clears, uh, you can send me the, all of these things. And I thought, okay. So he sent me the check, and I cashed it, and it cleared. And I went to the same magazine that he had advertised, and I saw jackets in there. And I, he had sent me the pictures. So I bought the jacket, had the 
patch is made and you have no idea how much it is to make just one patch or how much it is to paint a painting on the back and on the sleeve and I'm not going to tell you but it didn't cost anywhere near sixteen hundred dollars and now I have a jacket that fits that I wear in the winter time. <laughs> the photograph on the left is our crew before we went overseas. That was when we were in combat crew training. And the photograph on the right is when uh, uh, we were overseas. The top one is uh, at classification uh, before I was sent to navigation school. And the bottom one is uh, when I was in basic training as a medic. After I retired, uh, I made up this map and uh, all of the places in blue are places that I was stationed. All the places in yellow are the places that I landed but was not stationed. And the, all the ones in red are the combat strikes during the war. Oh, okay, that's uh, an E6B computer and this is the back of it. Uh, on the reverse side is the one that you can mark with a pencil to get your uh, uh, wind speed and so forth. This one, uh, you put an arrow on your airspeed and then you read under the other arrow uh, or in the outer circle how far you want to go and then it will tell you how long it'll take you to get there. This is a cross section of the B-24 and the pilots sit just forward of the wing and uh, the navigator sits behind the pilot, the radio operator sits behind the, uh, the co-pilot and then the astrodome up above is where the navigator stands to shoot his celestial fixes and then you have a nose gunner and on our aircraft we had an upper turret, Martin upper turret gunner up here and then you had two waist gunners, a tail gunner and then a belly gunner.